everyone, Todd Harrison here. I am the founder of the Beat Muscular Dystrophy Program, and in this video, I am going to be talking about muscular dystrophy and stem cell treatments. So right up here, we have an article published in October 10th, 2010, and let's just go ahead and read a little bit of this study. So it says, under normal circumstances, adult stem cells reside in muscle tissue where they can differentiate and do a number of different cell types. After an injury or even a tough workout, muscles are inflamed as cells and molecules flood the area to control damage and begin repairs. When called upon to replace muscle tissue damaged by injury or genetic disease, some muscle stem cells differentiate, becoming new muscle cells while others make more stem cells. So I'm just going to go ahead and skip a little bit of this article because we're just going to get to the meat and potatoes. So here it says, Dr. Peary's findings begin with an, inflammatory, with an inflammatory molecule called tumor necrosis factor, that stands for TNF, which then initiates a chain reaction of molecular events. When it wakes up, a protein called P38-alpha-MAPK. So guys, remember this right here because we're going to be talking about this. This is going to be very important. The P38-alpha-MAPK protein. Now, this protein is known to play a role in many processes, but here Dr. Puri and his colleagues show that TNF tells P38-alpha-MAPK to enter the nucleus where it keeps a damper on the part of the genome that defines the identity of muscle cells. Essentially, P38-alpha-MAPK determines whether or not stem cells Lurring in adult muscle tissue, keep refreshing the pool of new stem cells that come in through the bloodstream or differentiate into functioning muscle cells. Okay, guys, so remember how I said P30 alpha? I'm going to go ahead and pull up another study. Okay, here we go. Here's a study published in August of 2011, anti-inflammatory effects of fucoidin through inhibition of NFKB, MAPK and AKT activation in lipopolysaccharide induced BV2 microglia cells. So it says fucoidin, a sulfated polysaccharide extracted from brown seaweed, displays a wide variety of internal biological activities. So let's just go ahead and scroll down here. So let's just scroll down here. It says our data indicated that fucoidin treatment significantly inhibited excessive production of nitric oxide. But let's just scroll down here. It says, and also tumor necrosis factor. So remember, back in this study, they're talking about tumor necrosis factor, okay? So this molecule, fucoidin, activates tumor necrosis factor. And then let's look down here a little bit. It also mentions P38 MAPK. And it says, these findings suggest that fucoidin may offer substantial therapeutic potential for treatment of neurodegenerative diseases that are accompanied by microglial activation. So let's educate you guys about what exactly fucoidin is. I'm going to pull up another tab here. Fucoidin facts, okay? Currently, there are 1,763 studies on PubMed.gov, which is a government database of all kinds of studies. Now, fucoidin is an element found in brown seaweed, which you can actually see right below today's topics. You'll see that piece of seaweed. That's actually from a species called Makabu, which is also called Eundaria pinatifida. Right here it says Makabu. Let's go ahead and scroll down here. Beneath the truth, science meets tradition. So, coastal communities have been known to have low incidence of disease and increased longevity. Specifically, the Japanese people with their diet of soy fish and variety of sea plants, including brown seaweed, have very low rates of disease. Continuously, the southern area of Japan has the lowest mortality rates for all types of cancer. And folks, this is not luck, okay? There's something behind this. So let's just scroll down a little bit. Revealing the research on fucoidin, the marine bioactive. Among the countless studies on fucoidin, researchers have found that the marine bioactive has a very complete profile. So the research on fucoidin has included apoptosis, which is cancer cell suicide, cell regeneration. This is going to be the big one because we're talking about stem cells in this video. We have cholesterol maintenance, weight management, immune system support. 
So this molecule of glucoridin actually activates natural killer cells, which helps boost your immune system and helps your body fight off various kinds of infections. Also helps with the circulatory system. It's an antioxidant and has shown to have detoxifying qualities and many other health benefits. So let's scroll down here. Cell regeneration has been studied as fucoidin may support the gathering of stem cells so they are able to replace dead cells. This leads to interest in tissue and organ revival. Again, guys, let's go back to the study we first talked about, KP38. This activates stem cells from bone marrow. And I'm going to pull up another study, okay? we got to put all the puzzle pieces together because you got to be honest, medical doctors are not trained in nutrition. In fact, I'm going to actually play a video in a little bit explaining how much nutritional hours and doctors are actually trained in in medical school. So here is the study right here. Sulfated glycans, which is basically fucoidin, induce rapid hematopoietic prognator cell mobilization. Now, I probably didn't say those words right, but that's okay. Let's just get to the meat and potatoes of this. So it's talking about a prototypical example is fucoidin, a sulfated polysaccharide extracted from brown seaweed, which can inhibit leukocyte rolling and inflammatory responses in vivo. So let's scroll on down here. I highlighted this because I did a lot of research before I did this video. Right here, okay. At six months, the competitive repopulating ability of eucoidin mobilized blood cells was approximately 700 fold greater than that of the PBS group. And the PBS group was basically stem cells harvested from bone marrow. In this particular study, they just gave mice fucoidin and they measured how much stem cells were in their blood. Okay, you got to put that into perspective. Okay, 700% increase in repopulating stem cells. It says these data indicate the administration of fucoidin can indeed mobilize long term repopulating stem cells. So what does this mean for you? Well, fortunately, you're not going to have to raise $10,000 or more just to get stem cell injections, okay? Your body already makes plenty of stem cells. It's just up to you to give it the proper raw materials it needs to produce even more stem cells so it can be transferred from your bone marrow and get to damaged muscles or whatever else is damaged in your body. Okay, this is not the only study that shows fucoidin helps with stem cells. Here's another study that I'm going to pull up right here. It says fucoidin ingestion increases the expression of CXC4 on human CD34 cells. Okay, for those of you that do not know, CD34 are stem cells. Let's go straight to the results. Okay, following ingestion of fucoidin, CD34 plus cells increase significantly in the PB from 1.64 to 1.84 cells after four days. The proportion of CD34 cells that expressed CXC4 increased from 45% to 90% after 12 days. Conclusion read, oral fecoidin significantly amplified the CXCR4 HPC population, the ability to mobilize HPC, which is again stem cells, using sulfate of polysaccharides, and mobilize more HPC with the high levels of CXCR4 could be clinically valuable. It's right here in plain writing. You give your body fucoidin, you're going to activate more stem cells in your body. So the next question is, why aren't organizations like the Muscular Dystrophy Association promoting stuff like fucoidin? Well, I'm going to play a quick little clip and you're going to hear some truth from a medical doctor about what is not taught in medical school. And very honestly, when you go to medical school, I think they put a pair of horse blinders on you. And that unless it's taught in medical school or you read it in the medical literature, it can't be, can't be valid, can't happen. Susie is the living proof. She's healthier than I am. Okay, so as you just heard that doctor, certain things are taught in medical school and they are just plain and they are just accepted without question. Because medical students aren't going to question the authority of what they're being taught. And I'm going to play another video and you're going to find out exactly how much nutritional training actually involves medical school. Well, 
bad nutrition advice from federal authorities has been chalked up to corporate influence, bad advice from the medical profession more likely arises out of ignorance. What is the status of nutrition education in medical schools? Back in 1980, less than a quarter of medical schools required a single course on nutrition. By 1981, though, we were up to 32%, then 37%, then slipping to 35%, and back down to 27% by 1984. That was a quarter century ago, though, you know, back in the Dark Ages. What about 20 years later, in 2004? In a survey sent to all U.S. medical schools, we went from 27% in 1984 all the way up to 30%. There was more nutrition education in 1982. On average, out of thousands of hours of preclinical instruction, doctors get about 24 hours of nutrition, with most only getting between 11 to 20. Last year, we got an update. Nutrition education in U.S. medical schools, latest update of a national survey. In 2004, we were at 30%, and now we're at... 25%, nearly the lowest ever recorded. Only a quarter of medical schools require a single course on nutrition. They conclude in their 2010 paper, the teaching of nutrition in U.S. medical schools still appears to be in a precarious position, lacking a firm, secure place in the medical curriculum of most medical schools. They advocate for, at a minimum, the 25 hours of nutrition education needed to properly train physicians. Currently, only a small fraction reach even that trifling standard, and even if they did, that means you could learn everything a properly trained doctor knows about nutrition in one long weekend. Now, I know that may be shocking, but it is true. Okay, medical education regarding nutrition is severely deficient. This means people researching on the internet like me, like yourself, what you're doing right now, we are actually learning more about nutrition than a medical student going through four years of medical school training. And this is what actually led me to invent this new product called Miracle Fucoidin. This is my first nutritional supplement that I have ever made. And I believe Fucoidin to be the most cost-effective way to get more stem cells in your body because your bone marrow already has millions and millions of stem cells. You just got to give it the proper materials it needs and you're going to help and you're going to help give your body more stem cells throughout where it needs to go to damage muscle tissue or whatnot. So you'll actually find a link below this video where you can head to this website and learn more about Fucoidin. I created a nice little graphic here. We'll give you a little bit more overview. Here we got the anti-tumor activity, anti-inflammatory activity, a bone and joint maintainer. It says right here the effects of fucoidin on bone and joint health were shown in a double-blind study to reduce the symptoms of osteoarthritis by 52%. It's also an immune system activator. So it says fucoidin has been shown to be directly connected with activating natural killer cells, which is your immune system's defense shield, according to research. Then, of course, you have the stem cell stimulation. It says right here, perhaps the most fascinating property fucoidin has shown to demonstrate is its ability to induce stem cell mobilization, which causes stem cells from your own bone marrow to be sent to different parts of the body. Here we got fucoidin benefits. Again, gives your immune system a shield, supports joint health, destroys free radicals, okay, destroys them completely, increased energy and quality of life, promotes increased stem cell mobilization, improves skin elasticity, greater feeling of rejuvenation, and induces apoptosis, which is cancer cell suicide. And down here, you can see over 1,700 medical studies have been shown with fucoidin since 1959, and as the years go by, more and more studies are being published. And these aren't just little third-party studies, okay? These are verified studies, National Institutes of Health, National Library of Medicine, you got PubMed, and a couple studies on Medline Plus, along with Harvard University. 
So if Ficoidin is widely, widely studied, I threw on a couple more studies here if you want to check it out. But by now, you can already tell Ficoidin is a superior phytonutrient. And the difference with my Ficoidin is how do we guarantee that Miracle Ficoidin is the best supplement money can buy? Well, our Ficoidin is extracted from unpolluted Australian oceans, so you don't got to worry about any radiation that you're going to get from, you know, like Japan or whatnot from that Fukushima leak. And we only use organic certified Ficoidin. Okay, our Ficoidin is USDA organic. It's non-GMO. It's also Australian certified organic. It's extracted in a GMP facility. It's also approved by the Korean Food and Drug Administration. So there's plenty and plenty of certifications that my Fucoidin is in fact superior. It says, what are people saying about Fucoidin? Cynthia said, I have tried other types of natural anti-inflammatories, oil of oregano, omega-3s, but nothing worked like the miracle Fucoidin. So Robert Johnson said, this USD organic Fucoidin is godsend. I have been feeling pretty much immortal after now taking my Fucoidin. Miracle Fucoidin is so awesome. Javier says, I am already recommending this to my friends for their various problems. I took up three bottles and I'm now waiting for a new shipment. Now let's check out what's inside. You're going to get two capsules, 30 servings, and each serving you're going to get 200 milligrams of organic fucoidin extract. Now if you wanted to get enough fucoidin from eating seaweed, you would have to eat four or five pounds of seaweed every single day to get the same amount of fucoidin that is in Miracle Fucoidin. And like I said, our Fucoidin is USDA organic compared to other competitors which cost more and have less Fucoidin. Now one bottle is going to cost you $54.95. If you order it today, you're going to save $20 plus get free shipping. Now I only got less than 100 bottles left because we are doing small batches to ensure that fresh Fucoidin is bottled as soon as possible. Because you got to remember it is a seaweed that you want fresh seaweed ingredients. Now that said, thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned a lot. And I will also leave the links to all the articles that I posted below this video. You might see this on Facebook. You might see this on YouTube. So if it's not directly in comments, just look around in descriptions and you will get all the information you need. And of course, if you want to get further nutritional information, you can always head over to my website. Go to beatmusculardystrophy.net. I put together a free supplement guide that you can check out. So with that said, thanks for watching this video.